A sled is pulled along a level path through snow by a rope. A 30-pound force acting at an angle of 40 degrees above the horizontal moves the sled 80 feet. Find the work done by the force. I think a picture would be helpful here. We've got a little sled. We'll just make it one of those little disc sleds there. And then, of course, we've got uh, a little kid sitting inside there. He's going to look like this. And, and I know my artistic skills are very good. He'll have a little stocking cap on because it's winter time and cold outside. And, of course, he would have some mittens on as well. Okay, so he's being pulled a distance of 80 feet. So let's suppose that the sled is going this way and along the horizontal and that the distance that it travels, represented by this arrow, is 80 feet. Now, how is it getting from point A to point B? It's being pulled by a 30-pound force that's acting at an angle of 40 degrees above the horizontal. So we have this force vector here that is 40 degrees off of the horizontal. Let's go ahead and give that the name, capital F, for the force vector. And we can call this horizontal vector here, D. And we want to know the work done by this force F to move this sled through this displacement vector, D. Well, we know that the work is equal to the dot product of the force vector and the displacement vector. We don't have the force and displacement vector in terms of components, but we can use the other definition of the dot product, which says it's the magnitude of the two vectors multiplied together times the cosine of the angle between them, which in this case we're calling theta, that angle right there, which is 40 degrees. Now, what is the magnitude of F? Well, the magnitude of F is the amount of force being applied at that 40 degree angle. So the magnitude of F is equal to 30 and the magnitude of that displacement vector, that's how far the sled travels, that's equal to 80. And so we have that the work is going to be 30 times 80 times the cosine of 40 degrees. That's going to be 2400 times the cosine of 40 degrees. And if we put that into our calculator and we'll round it off to the nearest foot pound, Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. You're going to get a little bit over 1838 and a half, so we'll round it up to 1839. And again, the unit on that is going to be foot pounds, and that's because our distance was measured in feet, our force was measured in pounds. So the work is approximately 1839 foot pounds. That's a lot of work out there in the snow.